Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, let's do a review of the new Zenbook Duo UX482 laptop announced by Asus in India. So Asus Zenbook Duo, this is not a new device. It's actually uh, the Zenbook Duo and Zenbook Duo Pro were announced a couple of years back and they were really good. It comes with a secondary display, the screen pad plus that's one of the highlights of uh, the, uh, the Zenbook Duo series. Now we have the second generation Zenbook Duo, the UX482 launch launched in India. So we're going to talk about uh, this laptop, what are features it offers, how the performance is, the design and build quality. There has been a lot of changes in terms of design. Uh, the performance has been improved. You get a dedicated graphic card. Uh, the display performance has been improved. You get a better cooling experience, better battery life. So overall, uh, Asus claims that this is the second generation laptop, uh, the Zenbook Duo series, and this has been much, much improved compared to the previous generation. So what are the improvements? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So before before getting started, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first, uh, let's talk about the design aspect. Now, when you look at the Zenbook Duo launched uh, previously, uh, it had a flat display. The secondary display was flat and in line with the keyboard. Now here, uh, one of the important aspects to consider is that when you have a uh, uh, the screen secondary screen in line with the keyboard uh, when you look at uh, the display it's kind of uh, uh, not the best experience you have to actually reach out to the display and this is where asus zenbook duo the second generation brings in a lot of changes you can see that the uh, second generation display has a hinge the screen pads plus has a uh, hinge the hinge mechanism is kind of uh, really nice it actually lift up the display uh, to a certain angle when you open the laptop thereby uh, there are two aspects to this uh, new design what is that the screen pad plus the new secondary display is placed at an angle which makes the reading or uh, using the secondary display much more easier the second thing is that uh, this raised screen pad plus allows for better ventilation uh, because uh, you can actually see the fans uh, below the display and it provides much better cooling so those are the two aspects about the new hinge display now as usual you get uh, the ergo lift hinge which lift the laptop and as a result you can also see that this this new hinge mechanism raises the secondary screen pad display to an angle making it much more readable as well and better visibility when using the device. So that's the design changes with respect to the Zenbook Duo. Now apart from that, this device uh, is made of uh, completely metal uh, chassis, magnesium aluminium uh, alloy is used which makes the uh, looks really premium. Now on the back panel you can see that the typical ASUS branding and uh, uh, the pattern uh, on the back panel which is kind of uh, similar to to what we've seen on a lot of asus laptops now the overall the metal quality is really superb uh, seriously good build quality being offered here uh, superior fit and finish and it definitely gives it a premium look altogether especially with the hinge mechanism everything uh, uh, designed well and laid out perfectly well into this uh, new form factor and this is just 1.6 kilograms in weight and just uh, less than 17 mm in thickness so asus has actually achieved a feat with uh, the uh, uh, slimmer form factor, a lighter uh, device and also the hinge mechanism serves multiple purposes. So it's one of the really good devices uh, in terms of design. Uh, in fact, um, it's more of a refined design with the new ASUS ZenBook Duo UX482. So next let's move on to the display. So here we get a, a dual display, the primary display, it's a 14 inch laptop and the secondary display is also there, you get a 12.5 inches uh, display. Now the primary display is a 14 inch uh, LED display. Uh, it comes with a 1920 by 1080p resolution, 100% sRGB color gamut, you get 400 nits of brightness and it's actually a 1 watt display which actually reduces the battery consumption and you get a 93% screen to body ratio. Now if you look at the secondary display, it's a 12.65 inches screen pad plus display it has a 1920 by 515 pixels per inch display and it's an ips panel uh, but you can see that both the devices both the displays rather are touch enabled and you also get uh, uh, a pen input which we'll talk about later so both the displays are really good the colors are really vivid and vibrant the led uh, display the primary display makes it up for great entertainment purpose and uh, it's uh, it's a great device in terms of uh, display as well the display is also 
also a Pandone validated uh, TUV Rhineland certified display. That means that if you are a creator, you get really great uh, true colors. Pandone validation is something which is uh, uh, which gives more realistic colors and more natural colors. So if you are a creator looking to get the best color inputs for your videos and photographs, then uh, this display works really well. So that's the good aspect about this display. And the touch response is really good. And overall, uh, the display quality is good. Both uh, the primary display and the secondary screen pad plus now we'll talk about the screen pad uh, plus which has a lot of additional features so that we'll talk about in a while so let's move on from the display to the ports and connectivity options so this uh, laptop uh, does come with a pretty good uh, ports and connectivity option so it comes uh, with uh, a hdmi uh, port uh, on the left side and you also get uh, two thunderbolt 4 usb type c port which are power delivery and uh, display port supported and uh, on the uh, right side you get uh, uh, the usb 3.2 gen 1 port audio jack included that's a 3.5 mm audio jack and a micro sd card slot is included along with that you also get the led indicator so it's quite well equipped in terms of ports and connectivity and you get uh, the usb type c port as well as the usb uh, type a port for all you need so it's fairly equipped in terms of ports and connectivity so next moving on to the performance side so you get uh, the either intel core i7 or i5 processor both are 11 generation processor so you the one we tested had the intel core i7 1165g7 chip and uh, there is also one with uh, the core i5 1135g7 uh, processor and uh, both are coupled with uh, 16 gigs of uh, ram and you get 1 tb of uh, nvme uh, pci ssd uh, storage and and uh, you can also get uh, this laptop, the Core i7 variant with uh, uh, dedicated GPU, that's the NVIDIA uh, GeForce MX450 a graphics card with 2GB RAM is also included, that's available for the Core i7 variant. So in terms of performance, uh, we get a really good performance because uh, you can't get uh, a higher GPU on this because of the form factor. And as a result, the MX450, which is kind of quite a good uh, uh, GPU, it may not be the powerful one for gamers, but for creators, it does provide a decent experience overall. And uh, uh, you can actually see that when we did uh, uh, the uh, uh, performance testing with uh, GPU, uh, including testing uh, with uh, Adobe Photoshop, and uh, we also rendered a lot of videos so uh, in our testing we found that the laptop held uh, uh, pretty well in terms of performance and there was no issues and the heating was uh, kind of well under control which was not uh, extensively heating up but overall we feel the performance is definitely good on this laptop here are some benchmark score in case you are interested in the benchmark scores of the laptop here are the ones we tested so you can have a look at it and compare with other laptops in this price segment so overall we feel as a creator laptop uh, this provides good experience overall because uh, with the dual display uh, you uh, get a more powerful PC and uh, which can actually do a lot of extensive tasks uh, for creators uh, with editing videos or uh, photographs or anything uh, uh, with extensive task it was able to perform pretty well now with all the uh, Zenbook series laptops uh, the Zenbook Duo also is powered by uh, speakers uh, which are tuned by Harman Kardon and as a result the sound quality is definitely good and uh, this as a, a multimedia laptop also works Works pretty well you can use it for watching movies and uh, even other multimedia experience this is definitely good now moving on to the keyboard you can see that the keyboard on this laptop is placed towards the edge it's kind of a different layout compared to the mainstream laptops you can see so as a result of the dual display you can see that the keyboard is placed towards the edge and as a result uh, the typing experience is initially a bit weird because you need to get accustomed to this uh, new keyboard layout along with that uh, the touchpad is placed uh, on the right uh, corner uh, which again uh, feels a bit uncomfortable in the initial usage but once you get used to this uh, uh, the, this new layout using the keyboard is quite good uh, the key travel is good uh, the typing experience is pretty solid and overall experience once you get accustomed to this uh, keyboard layout is pretty good the touchpad experience is also kind of okay so we don't have any complaints as such but it does take a while to get used to this keyboard layout now this laptop also comes with a pen input you can see that this is the pen input and the pen input actually the feedback what you get when you're using the pen is really impressive uh, something uh, which has been improved over a period of time previously when we used uh, pen input they were not really responsive here you can see that uh, the pen input is definitely good and uh, you also get additional tools uh, for inputting uh, with the asus software so that's the pen input available on the zenbook duo 
So next let's talk about the screen pad plus uh, software. So you can see that there is a brightness slider, there is a, an option uh, on the left side where you get the brightness slider, app navigator, link to my ASUS where you can uh, connect uh, your phone and mirror the functionality here. Uh, you also get uh, the keyboard lock functionality, then uh, uh, you can uh, there is an uh, uh, option to activate the screen pad plus as a touch pad. And uh, you can also see there is a task group and apart from that uh, the settings option allows you to uh, there is a control center where you can uh, drag and reposition how to hide the control center customize the control center so a lot of options are included here apart from that you can also increase the brightness the window control is there screen pad plus organizer is there uh, you can uh, see that three fingers uh, touch pad uh, I mean three finger uh, touching on the um, screen pad plus converts it into a mouse pad or trackpad which again looks good you can also see that the, all the apps listed uh, you can uh, manage all the apps uh, which are listed here now apart from that you can make uh, the screen pad into three different options that means uh, you can make it into three windows basically what it does is uh, uh, you can have uh, three different windows say for example you are editing a video the primary option uh, is on the main screen you can have the file browser on the secondary screen you can have uh, a different option uh, in the second screen you can see here this is how you can just drag and rearrange into the uh, option so you can see here uh, it works really well there are three options so you can see here three panels are there and you can drag and rearrange them into the uh, panel so this is how it works and uh, this is quite useful if you want to multitask you can open at least four windows in total the primary window is on the main screen the secondary window can be or secondary third and fourth window can be in the screen pad so it's a very useful functionality with uh, the screen pad plus So in terms of performance also, uh, ASUS offers uh, different modes, the Whisper mode, Balance mode, the Performance mode. It's a combination of different modes uh, via software tweaks, which uh, provides a better experience. If you want uh, a more of a balanced performance, go with the Balance mode. If you don't want the fans running, go with the Whisper mode. But if you want higher performance, you can go with the Performance mode, but then uh, the fans will be also be running. It won't be, uh, it will have a higher noise. But then uh, these are a mix of uh, modes available, which you can customize with uh, this laptop now this laptop also comes with the built-in dual band uh, Wi-Fi 6 connectivity and Bluetooth 5.0 so in terms of connections as well uh, it's pretty well equipped it also has the latest one uh, there are some additional tweaks available in the software settings including Wi-Fi smart connection options in the my ASUS app so the my ASUS app uh, provides you with a lot of additional options uh, in terms of customization how you want uh, the uh, performance to be so you can also do all those things uh, from the A my ASUS app which is uh, pre bundled with uh, this uh, laptop so this also comes with uh, a webcam for uh, your uh, video calls and other stuff there is also IR uh, infrared camera for windows hello functionality so you can uh, also use that for unlocking your uh, pc so those features are also included here now finally moving on to the battery life so this laptop comes with a 70 watt hour battery and ASUS claims that around 17 hours of uh, battery life uh, with this uh, again uh, these are standard test conditions you also get a 65 watt uh, uh, charger uh, which is able to do fast charging uh, almost uh, 0 to 60 percentage in just 49 minutes which is again quite good uh, for a uh, laptop in the premium segment now battery life uh, it's again a mixed uh, usage because uh, depends upon what kind of work you do in our testing we could get around uh, say 10 to 11 hours which is again really good battery life you may not get uh, uh, 17 hours uh, probably if you're watching movies you might be able to extend it but with heavy task we could get around uh, say uh, 10 to 11 hours battery life which is again really good so battery life is something which is really good on this uh, laptop even with the dual displays so summing up how good is the new asus zenbook duo ux482 with the dual displays the new zenbook duo 482 improves on its predecessor in every other way the screen pad is more useful, the machine is slimmer while retaining great build quality and the CPU is also faster. The performance is great and also the thermals are managed pretty well. The touch displays offer great quality and versatility and the primary display colors are really spot on. The battery life is impressive and ASUS is cheaper than the rivals here. But having said that, it might not be a laptop for everyone as it is a bit heavier than the mainstream ultra portable laptops and the keyboard and trackpad is a bit crammed also. But if you are a creator who wants a great machine to multitask and make ample use of the second screen then the new Zenbook Duo UX482 is totally worth the pricing it is being offered and the screen delivers a great experience.
The new ZenBook Duo uh, 482 comes in two variants, the Core i5 variant which is priced $99,990 and uh, the one we have reviewed, the Core i7 variant with the dedicated GPU priced $1,34,990 in India. So that is the detailed review of the ASUS ZenBook Duo UX482. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.